Hi everyone, welcome to Jabatiki. In our previous tutorial, we understand about what is gRPC, why it's so powerful, and how it works under the hood. But let's be honest, theory can feel like eating plain bread, which is not very exciting, right? But don't worry, today we'll add some more flavor to the plain bread so that you can feel its real taste. Well, we'll prove each and every theory we discussed by running a small benchmarking comparison between gRPC and REST. This video is all about actual performance numbers. Okay, alright. So without any further delay, let's get started. So before we start benchmarking, let me explain how we can ensure both REST and gRPC are doing the same work. This way we can apply a fair load and see the real difference between REST and gRPC. Imagine we have a user service that fetch records from the database. Now we will create two different services, one using REST and other one using gRPC. Both will call the same user service to retrieve the record. But for benchmarking, we'll use Apache Benchmark for REST since it supports HTTP 1. For gRPC, we'll use GHZ which supports HTTP 2. But if you want to run a similar test yourself, you can also use JMeter. However, JMeter does not have built-in gRPC support. For that, you need to add some third-party plugins. Okay, so you can explore that later. For now, let's focus on our benchmarking use case. Now, let me show you the same in action. Let's go to the IntelliJ idea. Now, if you observe here, I have created one user service which will fetch all the user object from database. You can see the simple database call to fetch all the records. Okay. This is the main user service class if you observe. Now, this user service will call by two different services. One is REST. One is gRPC. Now, if you see, this is what the REST service, and if you see, this is what the gRPC service. So, whatever we understand here, we are doing the same load testing. Now, if you will go to the code again, this user gRPC service used protobuf as a request and response. So, at this moment, you no need to worry about the gRPC implementation for now. We'll break it down from scratch in our upcoming classes. Okay. So to just give you the heads up about the use case we are discussing, I walk you through this particular code. Now let's close everything. We'll not hit our head to understand this code at this moment. We'll discuss that in our upcoming classes. Let's close it. Now let me run this particular application. Now in this application, we are exposing two API. One is gRPC, one is REST. Now we will use the Apache Benchmark and GHZ to test different services by applying some load and then we will see the behavior, performance behavior. Okay. So if you observe the output, gRPC server started listening on address 9090 and same way the REST API you will find on the port 8080. Let me filter here, you will find the port. 8080. Basically, this application started in two different ports. Your web application started on port 8080. However, gRPC server started on port 9090. Now, since we started our application, and if you observe here, we have the database. Now, if I will show you the record count, you can see the record count is 1000. So both gRPC and REST service will fetch 1002 record by user service. Okay, that is what we understand. The record count is 1002. Now what I can do? Let's run the benchmark. For that I will open two different terminal. In first one, I will run the REST service. This is the Apache benchmark. Again, you can use the JMeter or any other uh, benchmarking tool. Now this is the simple way to access your REST API. 
अपजी बेंचमार्क देन टोटल नंबर ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट इज थाउजेंड एंड टोटल नंबर ऑफ थ्रेड कॉन्क्रेंट रिक्वेस्ट विल बी टेन नाउ सिमिलरली लेट मी यूज द जी एच जेड टू एक्सेस द जी आर पी सी ए पी आई अगेन यू नो नीड टू फोकस ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर एंड पॉइंट वट आई एम डूइंग हियर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड इन आवर अपकमिंग क्लासेस ओके विल क्रिएट द जी आर पी सी एप्लीकेशन विल एक्सेस इट आई विल शो एवरीथिंग दिस इज जस्ट ए बेंच मार्किंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हू इज द विनर नाउ इन जी एच जेड इफ यू ऑब्जर्व वी आर गिविंग प्रोटो विच इज नथिंग द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट दैट इज वॉट वी अंडरस्टैंड राइट जी आर पी सी वर्कस ऑन प्रोटो वॉफ नॉट जे एस ऑन सो यू नीड टू प्रोवाइड युअर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विच इज नथिंग युअर प्रोटो फाइल देन दिस इज वॉट कॉम डॉट जावा टेकी जी आर पी सी यूजर सर्विस एंड वॉट इज युअर जी आर पी सी मेथड नेम दैट इज वॉट वील डिफाइन एज ए कॉन्ट्रैक्ट नाउ द नंबर ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट इज थाउजेंड कॉन्क्रेंसी इज टेन एंड इट इज रनिंग ऑन पोर्ट नाइन जीरो नाइन जीरो नाउ इफ यू ऑब्जर्व इन बोथ रेस्ट एंड जी आर पी सी वी आर गिविंग सेम लोड और यू कैन से द लोड इज आइडेंटिकल बिटवीन रेस्ट एंड जी आर पी सी बिकॉज द नंबर ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट एंड कॉन्क्रेंसी इज सेम एंड बोथ आर एक्सेसिंग सेम यूजर सर्विस एंड फेचिंग थाउजेंड टू रेकॉर्ड्स नाउ लेट्स रन इट एंड विल सी द मेजिक ना फर्स्ट लेट मी रन द अपाची बेंच मार्क सिमिलरली लेट मी रन द जी एच जेड नाउ वी गॉट द रिजल्ट इफ यू सी हियर दिस इज जस्ट द नंबर ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट इज इट प्रोसेस्ड सो वी आर चेकिंग द अपाची बेंच मार्क रिजल्ट नाउ ओके देन वील कंपेयर दिस विथ जी आर पी सी ना इफ यू सी हियर दिस इज वॉट द कॉन्क्रेंसी लेबल वी हैव गिवेन टोटल टाइम टेक टू एक्जीक्यूट द टेस्ट लोड टेस्ट इज नथिंग थर्टी टू सेकेंड कंप्लीट रिक्वेस्ट थाउजेंड देर इज नो फेल्यूर देन इफ यू ऑब्जर्व यूर रिक्वेस्ट पर सेकेंड दिस इज नथिंग यूर थ्रो पुट राइट द नंबर ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट इट हैंडल पर सेकेंड दैट इज वर्ड थर्टी वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाउ लेट मी कीप ए टेबल टू एक्सप्लेन यू In rest, what is the throughput we found? Thirty-one point zero five. Next, if we'll check time per request. A single request, how much time it took to complete? That is the average time we can say, right? So that is three double two zero four eight in rest. So just copy this. This is nothing your latency, okay? So latency in rest is this so time per request this is the mean across all the concurrent request this is the accurate one for each individual request now this is the transfer rate you can ignore it now connection time total time it took to make the connection 0.6 to 8 millisecond okay now to process the complete request minimum it took 304 and maximum it took 338 next waiting it means it spent time waiting for sort to get the response okay so the waiting time to get the response minimum is 304 maximum 337 now this is what the total result you can see when i am saying total result it is the sum of connect and processing okay that is what total average mean and max now latency distribute percentage of the request served within a certain time 50% of the request completed within this 317 millisecond 66% 319 and 99% 334 and the time took more for the longest request you can consider this number 338 so it means highest time take to complete one request that is 338 and what is the minimum 317 right this is what all about we found in the rest okay we understand what is the throughput 31.05 per second it can only handle this many request what is the latency we understand this this much time it took to complete one request now let's compare the same result with grpc so in grpc 
total request count thousand that is correct it took total time to execute 20.82 second here it is 32.205 second okay now the slowest 2.08 second when i say slowest the slowest request took this much time okay now fastest request took this much time now these two needs to understand what is the average what is the latency the latency is 207 okay let me copy this go to our table in grpc the latency is 207 let's check the throughput the throughput is request per second 48.03 now if you check these are the two major things you can check the histogram and understand the latency distribution and everything you need to understand the throughput and latency difference in rest and grpc since i am just playing with 1000 request and the concurrency is 10 i didn't find any big difference so if you observe here 48 in grpc the throughput 48 in grpc and here it is this one 31 right it's not a big difference in number to get a accurate number you try increase your number of request and concurrency level you will find a noticeable difference okay that's fine now let's check other uh, details about our grpc results so if you see the response time details this progress bar is nothing the time it take okay so for example total 779 request falls under this time zone when i'm saying time zone this duration 256.155 millisecond to 258.497 second okay so during this time period it completed 77 request 779 request okay so you can see this number it's not a big deal to understand this histogram it's just what it meant i am trying to convince it now again latency distribution 10 percent of request is completed within this time frame 25 percent is this 99 percent of the request is this fine now hope you got some clarity who is the winner whether it is rest or grpc now we have the result here the throughput in rest okay let me keep a note total number of request count how much thousand and concurrency right 10 with these inputs we got this difference for rest throughput is 3105 and grpc 4803 latency in rest 322 grpc 207 now you figure out who is the winner rest or grpc obviously it's grpc right so make him winner here so this is how you can add more load to find the accurate result again this is just a benchmarking demo i'm just trying to convince performance wise who is the winner again rest serve different purpose and grpc serve its own purpose okay so it's just in microservice intercommunication who is the best who is having capable to handle more throughput and latency who is not that is what we are just trying to figure it out so i hope you enjoy this lecture not just by listening to theory rather we just prove with the real number fine so in my next video i will cover all you need to know about protobuf to get started for real time implementation of grpc so i will cover everything how to define protobuf what are the different data types what are the different or how you can define the services how you can generate the java classes we will do the complete postmortem of protobuf okay so till then stay tuned i'll see you in the next video